What's up, YouTube? Back at it again in the lab, testing uh, another solar charge controller. And um, we're going to see if we can get this one to blow up. This is the cheapest one I could find on Amazon. And I think this was $11.99 plus 5% off. So we're going to see what this does. It's actually rated for 10 amps, 12 volt or 24 volt. Um, we're going to be testing the 12 volt part of it today. Um, and then after we uh, test it to its maximum capacity, we're going to take it apart and see what's inside. Uh, but for being a cheap one, the packaging is actually pretty good. Um, and I've already opened this iron. I stole the uh, little baby connectors I gave you. This thing is tiny. Um, for comparison, here is a mouse. Boom. Handle 10 amps though. We'll see. We will see. But uh, obviously you get your connections for load which we won't be using this has usb ports which is rated for uh i think two amps on this and battery obviously and solar your pv but yeah let's uh let's jump into testing this thing and see what it does interested I mean, one second i'll set up the battery part of it first and set up uh or figure out how to set it up for lithium iron phosphate for charging so let's see. Got these little connectors with the the packaging here for this unit, and they are tiny, freaking tiny. But I'm gonna hook them up here onto the unit, and let me get Phillips here, clean it off, and solder it. That. I guess this is going to be a tutorial on how to hook these things up too, I guess. But uh, there's the negative hooked up. And the positive. And we'll hook all that up first. And then program it for the charge part of it see about the programming for charging and then we'll hook the PV up to it well I'll I say PV but you know I got something that's <laughs> gonna act like a solar panel I got it hooked up to the battery and we're showing 13.3 so I need to figure out what or how to program this thing and let's see what we got. So programming this thing, you go through and cycle through. And it appears that what you do, let me get through here. Back to the main one, that's the main one. Hold for two seconds. Hit that menu, hold for two seconds. And then what we want is, what they're saying is seven. BO7, that one. So let's go ahead and hook the solar panels up to it, or panel, and see what we got. And the max PV voltage you could put in this thing is, I think it said 50 volts. Let's see. Yeah, 50 volts, maximum PV 50. Anything below 50, or it will stop charging at 50. Anything below 45 volts, it will begin to charge again. So I got the PV voltage, or PV, or solar panels hooked up. And right now we're at 10, 10 volts. No amperage. So this is the baseline. I'm going to turn up the voltage and see what they start charging. At and how many watts that we can get into this thing. All right, so baseline, starting out, half an amp, half an amp going through it. So right now it thinks it's getting solar panel at 13.3 with 7 watts. But we will keep on going up, 
and this is to the battery so I'm gonna set this camera up for the battery and we'll gradually increase it and see what it does going into the battery if you look here it started actually showing as putting voltage into the battery there's five amps it's half the rating of this it's three quarters of the rating <laughs> handling that 10 amps though it's exactly 10 amps eh, give or take all right, I'm gonna let this run for a little while and see if it just blows up. It's charging pretty quickly, so we'll see. So it actually failed internally when I was doing that test, running to that 10 amps. So if you guys watch, if I can set this up again so you guys can see it. So watch the voltage going to the battery. No bueno. See, it's at 14 something right now, right? Yeah. That's not good. So it's putting exactly, it's just going straight through. <clears throat> no boy, no. Alrighty, so uh, let's take it apart and see if anything failed on it. Alright, so let's get all this stuff disconnected. None of it's hot anymore. That's that PV. Get the battery disconnected. Boop. Boop. I'm interested to see what failed in here. I do hear some rattling, but that might be because of these. But let's tighten these down and see if it's still there. Like I said, guys, I want to say this was $11.99, so can't really complain so much. Nope, everything's tight and still got a rattle. So. Move these out of the way, and let's see what's inside. Just got four Phillips screws on the back side here. And this feels like plastic on the back. Some metal and you got in here a little board which I guess for 10 amps it ain't too bad uh, I think it's the button that's rattling let's keep going to this little nugget. Let's see. Let's see how hard this is to get out of here. Not really stressing if it breaks. Oh, there's the button that was rattling around. Okay. I don't think we let the smoke out of it. Oh, wow, that screen. <laughs> you look at the screen propped up. <laughs> Here's your button. Doesn't rattle anymore. Which 
trying to see if anything's burnt on the board. Doesn't appear to be. But, and you can kind of see where they soldered it and the marks on it, where everything got hot. Some guy's fingerprints probably can <laughs> get that off of there. But yeah, that's what's inside this thing. I'm going to test it again. I'm doing a uh, loading down that battery to try to see if, if it was the high voltage that disconnected the battery or if it was just the BMS was saying it was charged. So give me a second. I'll put this back together and we'll try it again and see what we got and I'll let you guys know the results. All right, so starting off battery voltage is 13.2. This is reading 13.2. This is also reading, you know, this is the load section. So if I turn that off, you lose the voltage there. So I'm trying to see if this thing fails again and puts 30 volts to the battery. Does it also put 30 volts to the load side of things, the control to load? So let's go ahead and get the PV going. I'll set this up so that you guys can see it. All right, so let's start the test. I'm move this over a little bit so that you guys can see this. Screen right here. So I'll go ahead and start it. See what happens. 130 watts going in. And we'll leave it like that and see what happens. Alright, yep, it's still doing the same thing with the PV voltage. So you actually have it's showing 14 for the load. Turn that off. Nothing. But if you actually monitor this right here, it's actually putting out 21, 22 volts. And then same here. It's 22 volts, 22 volts. There's actually 22 volts going to the battery right now. Which is weird. It's showing 21 volts. The load doesn't, the PV voltage doesn't go through it. This part got spicy though. I'll show a video here of that. That actually got pretty spicy. So, in all, this thing works um, for the most part. I thought it was failing, but I think you're just seeing what the module's trying to clean up or you know, mod, uh, modulate. <laughs> well, what's the best way to say it? As it comes in as PV voltage, it's, been, it's gonna change, but I don't think the module, this solar charge controller is, once it doesn't see that the battery needs any voltage anymore, it's just going through. But, the crazy part is, is if we take the voltmeter here and put it here, we get 22.5. Of course, I got my leads backwards. To the battery, it's only showing 14.4, but this is showing 21, which is pretty uh, weird. Because in actuality, it should show whatever voltage is the battery voltage. Because if I turn off this. It drops down to 13, 13 volts, which is what this is reading, what that's reading. Of course, this shouldn't read anything. So, yeah, interesting. Why it would be reading 22 volts, I think this may be defective. Of course, this is new. I think these were like $17 for the pair, so we'll see. But yeah, this thing got pretty spicy, and uh, but 
but it works. I didn't get it to fail. I took it apart. Sorry. <laughs> Till the next one we test. You guys take it easy. Enjoy the rest of your weekend.